a heartwarming story of recovery. A baby chimpanzee, Nemli Jr., with a great appetite. An astonishing turnaround, given the trauma he's been through. Poachers killed his mother and the rest of his family and then sold him to wildlife traffickers. He's learning to explore. He was freed as a result of a BBC News investigation. But he never likes to get too far from his keepers. He wants constant company. Chimpanzees live in close families in the wild. Nemli Jr. has now lost his and needs a new one. This is a key moment for Nemli Jr. meeting another chimpanzee, a slightly older female. Now he's never going to make it back into the wild, so the best hope is to create bonds with a new family. <laughs> Just a few months ago, he looked so much thinner while in the hands of animal smugglers. They were selling him for $12,500. We briefed the police and they moved in. A raid led to two arrests. A young dealer called Ibrahima Traore and his uncle Mohammed. They're now awaiting trial. The first prosecution for wildlife trafficking that Ivory Coast has ever seen. And with big money involved, they're linked to another network of traffickers in Guinea. The Sidibe family also sold baby chimpanzees, but two of them have now been arrested. So this could be a turning point. Once you get one, you arrest them, you prosecute them, you incarcerate them. That message starts to get out that wildlife crime is no longer you know, high profit, low risk. There's a risk here. In fact, I might go to jail. <laughs> the dealers circulate videos of the chimps for sale. Wildlife investigators say the arrests will slow the trade, but not stop it entirely. It is just uh, uh, one big step, but it is a never ending battle. Uh, with life, wildlife trafficking. So you've made progress, but it's not the end? Not the end. It's like a drug. It's a never-ending battle. Back at the zoo, Nemli Jr. is playful. A mobile phone keeps him amused, and here's the view from it. After our first report of his rescue, many of you were keen to hear more about him. Well, it's reassuring to see him thriving. And also to think that with four traffickers arrested, other chimps in the jungles may be a little safer. David Shukman, BBC News, in Ivory Coast.